Good day everyone, I'm Roger Adornado from BS Ed English 1A. And welcome back to another new lesson related to linguistics. For today's topic, we are going to discuss the 16 design features of human language by Charles F. Hackett. But first, who is Charles F. Hackett? Charles F. Hackett was an American linguist and anthropologist who lived from 1916 to 2000. Hackett made significant contribution to structural linguistics, as well as the study of Native American, Chinese, and Fijian languages. His work focused mainly on detailed linguistic analysis, particularly morphology and phonology, and on the concept and tools that facilitated such analysis. Hackett is the most famous for defining what he called the design feature of language, which demonstrated his belief about the commonalities among human languages, or the, the 16 design feature of language. So what it is what is the 16 design feature of language? So first we have vocal auditory channel. It refers to the idea that speaking, hearing is the mode of human use for language. Second, broadcast transmission and directional reception. When human speaks, sounds are transmitted in all directions. However, listener perceive the direction from which sounds are coming. Third, we have transitoriness or also called as rapid fading transitoriness, refers to the temporary quality of language. Sounds wave quickly disappears once a speaker stops speaking. Number four, interchangeability. It refers to the idea that humans can give and receive identical linguistic signals. Number five, total feedback. Speakers of language can hear their own speech and control and modify what they are saying as they say it. Number six, specialization. The purpose of linguistic signal is communication and not some other biological function. When humans speak or sign, it's generally intentional, right? Because when we, when we talk or when we even do action, it is intentionally. We do. Number seven, semanticity. Specific sound signals are directly tied to certain meanings. Number eight, arbitrariness. Spoken words are really nothing like the objects they represent. Number nine is discreteness. Linguistics representation can be broken down into small discrete units which combine with other in a rule govern, govern ways. Number 10 is displacement. It refers to the idea that humans can talk about the things that are, that they are not specifically present or that do not ever exist. Speakers can talk about the past and futures. Number 11, productivity. So it refers to the idea that language user can create and understand a novel utterances. Number 12, traditional or cultural transmission. The idea that while humans are born with innate language capabilities, language is learned after birth in social setting. So basically means in here statement that humans can acquire knowledge by in a social, social way when we are interacting. Number 13, duality of patterning. Meaningless messages are made of distinct smaller meaningful units or words or morphemes which develops which themselves are made up of distinct smaller meaningful units or fun. Number 14, prevarication. The ability to lie or to deceive. And number 15 is reflexiveness. Human can use language to talk about language, right? So, and lastly, 16, 
learnability. So language is teachable and learnable. So which means language can be acquired or can be learned or can be teach. And that's all for my discussion. And I hope you guys learned something from me. Bye!